Hi guys, it's Ben here. Just seconds after Liverpool have just beaten Man City by four goals to three at Anfield. One of the most surreal, um, nerve-wracking, phenomenal, wonderful games of football I've ever seen. I thought Liverpool were absolutely superb, obviously until the last few minutes when we let them back into it. But, oh, what a performance. Absolutely magnificent. I mean, you can see exactly what sort of football young club wants to play. Even without Coutinho there, you saw, I mean, Oxlade-Chamberlain. I've got so much I want to say, but... Um, I want to keep it relatively quick because I want to get back and watch the reaction and celebrate this win. But Oxlade Chamberlain was absolutely magnificent. Um, guys like Andrew Robertson were absolute heroes today. Firmino was irresistible. The Reds were just absolutely rampant. Um, to score four past Man City was ridiculous. I mean, with, with the, I mean De Bruyne. How do you stop De Bruyne? I think it's genuinely impossible. Every single ball he puts into the box is absolutely perfect, impossible to defend. The, the, the one at the end there, I was convinced it was going to be a goal. Um, luckily, we, uh, whether it's intentional or not, we hold the line, Aguero's offside, and that's it. Um, but Jesus Christ, did we earn that. The midfield, Vinaldum and Chan were phenomenal. Um, huge win, that takes us into third. Could have been second if we'd have won 5-1, which looked like on the cars at one point, but I genuinely think Look, Man City are going to win the league, but if there is a challenger, I think we're the, I think we are the second best team in the league right now. Um, you know, we, we might we might or might not bring anyone else in, but I don't think that's something we should get too hung on who hung up on about today because this team of players, Oxlade Chamberlain, um, you know, he, he stepped up big time. Firmino is ridiculous. Salah and Mane were great today. Um, yeah, some silly decisions at times from Mane, silly fouls and not making the right decisions when. He could have played somebody in, or maybe could have been a bit quicker in, a, in attack, but he gets a wonderful goal. What a finish that is. Liverpool were just ruthless for that for that spell between 1-0 and 4-1. We were just absolutely ruthless, punished every single mistake. Salah's goal was wonderful, didn't even think about it, just touch, bang, 4-1. Um, absolutely elated. Would have been a bit more buzzing if it had stayed 4-1. Question marks will still be asked about the defence. Um, obviously, no Van Dijk today. Karius starts, doesn't convince, should save the first goal, and then really doesn't even make a save, I don't think, the whole game. Uh, certainly not a meaningful one, so that's a concern. Uh, although you probably say he couldn't do much about the, uh, the two goals um, that came uh, in the second half of Man City. But let's just go through some player ratings, shall we? Um, I don't do this every time, but I feel like I should today. Um, Karius, uh, I can't give him any more than a, a five. He comes from crosses and does well in that regard and gets it away quickly, but he should save the goal and he makes no saves um, after that. Gomez is poor for the first, but his general play is actually pretty good. Um, wins the ball off Sani quite a lot second half, moves forward well with the ball, uh, 7 out of 10. Matip and, and uh, Lovren, um, panicky towards the end, but generally I thought they both did reasonably well. You can see three goals, it's not, it's not a blinding performance from them, um, same at Arsenal I suppose. Uh, but seven each for those two. Robertson gets. Uh, I'll give him an eight out of ten. I, mean, I, I guess he could have been a bit better stopping some crosses, but yeah, he, 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 he was fantastic. I think. Let's, do you know what? I'm going to bump that up to a nine. He was fa fantastic. Lots of needle Raheem Sterling. There was obviously the case when he just completely chased after every single ball right the way over to their left back. He just runs, 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 runs. He was superb. Nine out of ten. I think. I, I think that's fair. Midfield: Chan, Vinaldum. Um, and Oxlade Chamberlain. I mean, Chan in particular, I think, was absolutely world class today. Nine out of ten, won it, wanted it, distributed it. Just pure strength. No one's get, no one was beating him to any sort of ball today. Vinaldum, eight out of ten. A bit wasteful in possession, but his strength, his agility, his movement, turning defence into attack with a quick turn was fantastic. Oxlade Chamberlain, nine out of ten, gets his goal, works for works for the team. Delivery was good. All round threat. He is having his best ever Premier League season. It's because he's got a manager that believes in him. He's got players that uh, believe in him. He's got players that he, he likes playing with, um, and I think he's going to be a big asset for the Reds going forward. I, I was quick to. Be sceptical at first, but he's proven me and Arsenal fans uh, wrong. Uh, the front three, what can you say about those guys? Salah gets a... Why not? A 9 out of 10. Why not? He was superb. Um, gets his goal. Always a threat. Just what a player. Uh, what, what more do you want me to say? Mane, 8. Um, wonderful, wonderful goal. Good performance all round. Pressed, harried. Worked well. Brilliant. Like, back, back, back to the... Or almost back to the Mane you want to see... Um, you know, playing for Liverpool. Like I said, a couple of times when he could have done a bit better, but 8 out of 10 is a great performance. Firmino, I don't often dish out 10s. I don't often dish out 10s, but I'm going to give out a 10 for Roberto Firmino today. I think, um, I think I'm not being ridiculous in doing so. I thought it was absolutely phenomenal. He is absolutely phenomenal. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it there. I mean, he, 
he, he scores a wonderful finish. It reminded me of Robbie Fowler against Man United at Old Trafford uh, in the 90s when he felt that budge going ever off the ball and chipped the keeper. It's very similar to that on John Stones. It's something out of nothing. Um, an assist for Oxlade Chamberlain. Uh, wonderful, wonderful performance from Firmino. His touch was just surreal. He is a phenomenal, phenomenal footballer. Um, the subs didn't really come on for long enough to make any sort of impact. Um, Milner, Lallana, and uh, Clavin. Um, but you know, good, good to get some minutes in, in all of their legs. But buzzing, we are a force to be reckoned with. 18 games unbeaten. Um, let's not get too hung up about transfers, whether we sign anyone this window or not. Van Dijk's to come back into this side. Um, I think the main talking point, besides the, the good stuff, which we should talk about for a long time, is the goalkeeper situation, whether Karras deserves to be number one for the rest of the season. Um, I understand the, the, the theory of having a look at him now to decide whether we need to buy someone, but I want to win now. I want to, I want to get as far as we can in the league, in the FA Cup, in the Champions League. And if Karras is in goal for that, I think we have a less chance of achieving stuff, even though Mignolet is hardly perfect. Um, but look, I trust his manager, I trust his squad, and I trust the Reds to have a great end of the season. So, buzzing with today's win. Leave a comment with your man of the match and your thoughts on the game. Follow my other socials, as Ben might say, on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Subscribe if you haven't seen me before, and I'll see you next time. Up the Reds!